fights within the Mandela family over the estate of the late liberation struggle icon. Executives of Madiba's estate, Dehang Moseneke, and advocate George Bezos dispersed checks in terms of his will in Houghton in Johannesburg today. Mandela's will is being executed almost three years after his death in December 2013. The distribution of checks was conducted by the executors of Mandela's estate, former Deputy Chief Justice Dihang Museneke and Advocate George Bezos. It is important to tell our nation that we have come to the end of our task, that we have done as he asked. I often talk about how he said to Khan, will you look after me when I'm no longer in this land? And I didn't quite understand what that meant, because I saw him so often, and he went off with the Tata Bezos, made a will, and, uh, and later told me this is what I want you to do. The beneficiaries were given checks, but according to the executors, others chose to receive their money electronically. They include Madiba's former employees and even his driver. I just want to say thank you for what the Tata left for me. And uh, this is a privilege working for Mr. Mandela, and then I don't have <laughs> more what to say, <laughs> because I'm, I'm so stressed where I am, I'm, I'm scared, I don't know why. <laughs> Among the beneficiaries of schools and universities, they include Kunu Secondary School and Orlando West High School, the universities of Fort Hay and Vet Vatisrand. If it is timely because we are beginning the next century of existence of the University of Forte. The fact that uh, uh, Mr. Mandela decided to uh, put his name and signature to this university shows the amount of impact the university had on him. Although that Mandela, we know and understand that he has said this must be for the passage, so we are going to sit down and make a play. If we create a school as rumored by Madiba to take this man today, if we create even the community. Some family members were also present. This is an emotional moment for us, that this is one chapter that's been closed, although there will be other chapters that will be open in Granddad's uh, life. It's indeed a very emotional uh, moment. Uh, we have to thank um, the executors. But um, of course we want to thank Papa for what he's done and to ensure that um, after he's left us physically, he's still there. The executors say the disbursement of the assets relating to Mandela's Tunu home, including the head of cattle, were left out. This follows a court challenge by his former wife, Winnie Madikizela, a legal matter that's yet to be finalized. But in his will, Mandela's left the home to be used by his widow, Grasa Michelle, and his two children. Meanwhile, ahead of celebrations to mark Madiba's birthday, the executors shed more light on Madiba's grave. Our duty remains, and there is residue in the estate to be able to do that, to consult with the family quite tightly, and to set up a structure that will be responsible for the for the public uh, access um, to the resting place, Lagatata, and that inevitably will also involve the state. Um, so, in my language, I would call it a shrine, and it's something that we will um, get on with. Uh, up to now, it has been a process of just maintaining the graveside. Mandela was 95 when he died in December 2013 after a prolonged lung illness. Janjicha Uke, SABC News.